realize that God is your Lord and Master. And you realize that only what you do for Christ will last. You'll do good work because you have faith. If you have faith and if you love God, you can't help but do good works. Amen. But you can't please God unless you have the faith that he has given you. So, if I were to sum all this up, I would just say, let God use you. Just say, Lord, I don't know, but you know. Amen. I'm going to trust you. Somebody say, Although you slay me, yet shall I serve you. Whatever the outcome is going to be, Lord, you know. I want to be used by you. If more people are willing to be used by the Lord, they will be able to do good works. And if you do good works, you will defeat the bad works. There's a lot of bad stuff going on. The only way to overcome bad is with good. You can't fight bad with bad. You can only overcome it with good. So I want to encourage each and every one of us to find your purpose in life by listening to what God is telling you. Because what he is telling you is good for you and for those around you. And we are in the last days, regardless of what has been said. We are in the last days. I can guarantee you, we don't have as much time as we used to. But God is still able. Yes, He is. He has not brought us to where we are to leave us. He's brought us to where we are because we are where we can be useful to Him. We are where we are where we are in we are in a unique position. Now to change the mindsets of people. But it's going to take our obedience to the Lord. God has put us where we are because this is where we need to be. We, we've gotten so self-assured. We've gotten to the point where we think we, we were, nothing could have hurt us, nothing could harm us. We have gotten so beside ourselves that we didn't even think that bad existed. But in 2017, God brought some bad upon us to let you know that bad does exist. But he's able to help us to overcome. And sometimes we have to come to the realization that we need him. <laughs> so many people have gotten to the point that they really didn't think they needed the Lord. But he's letting us know. Amen. We need him now more than ever. So it's incumbent upon us to rethink our priorities. Don't look at church as being a place you dread to go. Don't look at it as being irreverent. Don't look at it, it don't mean anything. Things are going to be what they are anyway. That's the farthest thing from the truth. Things will not be the way they are anyway. Mm -hmm. Because God is an agent of change. Yes, yes, and he's yes. made us so that we can bring about that change. But we have to be willing to listen to him. God's going to save the world. There are those who will be saved. But there are also those who won't. And they won't be saved because of their stubbornness because they are determined to do things their way. Those persons who are determined to do things their way, we have to pray without ceasing yeah. that they see the goodness of the Lord. Because there are some people that will never change. Amen. There are some people who will never influence. Mm -hmm. There are some people who never hear the gospel in its truest sense. And it's a shame because God does not wish anybody to be lost. Amen. But there will be some who will call on him and he'll say, get the away from me. I never knew you. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Have mercy. We have a chance to fix that up mm -hmm. by getting to know him. 
And I'm not trying to frighten anybody. But each day that we live, we are a day closer to eternity. Amen. Each breath that we take is one less breath we have left in life. Amen. So it's incumbent upon us to get it right. <clears throat> no matter what we've done in life, you may have messed up all your life. That's all right. Get this right. You may have never done anything like you should have. Make sure you get this right. Because let me tell you something. This is what really counts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what really counts. Yes. This, this is the big. You get this right. And it makes up for all the wrong that you've done. Yes. All the mistakes you've made. Yes. They will be erased because you've got the one thing right that really matters. Let God use you. Amen. Because when God uses you, he's empowering somebody else to know that they can be used by the Lord as well. Right. It, 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 it's letting people know that God is not a respecter of person. All right. You don't have to be of a certain class of cast for God to use. He'll use, any, he, he'll use anybody. The Bible tells us he used folk with, that, we, that, that were despicable. But when God uses you, he cleans you up yes. and makes you useful. Amen. Let the Lord use you. The doors of the church. Amen. Amen. Who does not know the Lord?